Hello everyone, this is part 2 of uh, the 2nd May 2023 newspaper and here it is. Uh, SC, uh, that is Supreme Court can grant divorce on uh, irretrievable breakdown, waive 6 month wait period. Alright, and the Supreme Court on Monday held that it is uh, it can exercise and its uh, power under Article uh, 142.1 of the Constitution to grant divorce on the ground of irre irretrievable breakdown of marriage, whether it is mutual consent or even if one of the parties oppose it. And it also said that it can waive the uh, six month waiting period mandate under the Hindu Marriage Act of 1955 under the certain condition. Under Article 142.1, the Supreme Court may pass different of order or uh, it necessary for the uh, doing completely justice in any cause or matter uh, uh, pending before it. All right. And grant of divorce on the ground of irretrievable breakdown of marriage is not a matter of right. But <laughs> Discussion which is to be exercised with great cares and caution, keeping in mind several factors, ensuring that complete justice is done for both parties. All right. Now let's move forward. And we have already talked. Let's continue it. That uh, a person cannot directly approach the Supreme Court seeking <coughs> resolution of marriage on the grounds of a trivial breakdown. That means they cannot directly approach the Supreme Court for this because it is not a human right. All right. And under the Hindu Marriage Act, a couple seeking divorce by mutual consent must wait for at least six months after filling the first motion for further proceeding. That is, if both of the people want uh, divorce and it is completely mutual, then they have to wait for another uh, six month one motion for the further processing. And if even if somebody is having some problem in the irretrievable breakdown, then uh, still uh, they can't directly approach to the uh, Supreme Court. All right. And uh, let's move forward. Now, uh, this is the uh, explained part. In divorce, uh, Supreme Court's power to do complete justice under 142. That means in, if there is a divorce problem, then Supreme Court has the power to do the complete justice under the Article 142 of Supreme Court. And Section 130B of uh, NM NMA, that is Hindu Marriage Act, provided for the divorce by the mutual consent, both uh, parties to marriage must uh, together file a petition to district court. All right, first they have to uh, file a court on district court on the ground that they have been separated for a period of one year or more. That means for one year they have to be separated and then they have to be able to take the uh, life together. And they have mutually agreed that the marriage should be Dissolved under Section 133b2 of Act uh, for nine, uh, 14 to that means 142, the Act the parties must move a second motion before the co uh, court, not earlier than six months after the date of presentation of the petition, and not later than 18 months after. All right, and if the petition is not the drawn in the meantime, the mandate uh, six month wait is intended to give the parties time to withdraw their plea. A petition of divorce by mutual consent can be moved only after a year of marriage. However, Section 14 of M uh, Human uh, sorry Hindu uh, Marriage Act allows a divorce petition sooner in case of exceptional hardship to the petition or the exceptional gravity on the part of respondent. A waiver of six month waiting period under Section 13b2 can be sought in exemption application filed before the family court now let's talk about little bit on the article uh, 19 uh, sorry uh, 14 2 that is 142 of the constitution under subsequent uh, one of uh, article 142 the supreme court may pass such decree or make such order as it necessary for doing complete justice in any cause or matter and any degree so present or order so uh, made shall be enforceable through the territory of india all right and it uh, let's talk about irretrievable breakdown what factor can the court consider while discussing if a marriage should have irretrievable breakdown the first and the uh, most obvious condition is that the court should be fully convinced and satisfied that the marriage is totally underworked unworkable 
an emotional debt and beyond salvation and therefore the solution of marriage is the right solution and the only way forward the court has laid down the following factors the period of time that the parties had cohabited after marriage all right when the parties had last cohabited nature of allegation made by the parties against each other and the family members and order passed in legal proceedings after time to time cumulative impact on the personal relationship further and how many attempts were made to settle the disputes by a court or through the mediation and when the last uh, attempt was made and the court also noted that the period of separation uh, should be sufficiently long and anything uh, above 6 years or more will be relevant factor now rajnath uh, talks uh, defense corporation with maldives counterpart the defense minister rajnath singh uh, on monday led bilateral uh, delegation level talk with the maldives counterpart maria ahmed didi and uh, during which issue of mutual defense cooperation and new initiative to strengthen the defense and security partnership between the two countries were discussed and india will also be handling over a fast patrol vessel along with the assault uh, landing craft to maldives coast guard that means india has been giving the fast patrol vessel along with the uh, assaulting landing craft to the maldives coast guard and in 2020 india has gifted a dornier aircraft to maldives dornier craft what is dornier craft it is the Uh, is a offshore uh, aircraft to for the surveillance after it handed over to a petrol vessel to the country that means first they have handed over a petrol vessel thereafter they have gifted a dornier aircraft after which they are also presenting the a fast petrol vessel along with that assault landing craft to the maldives coast guard and and uh, last year india has also given a coastal radar system to maldives that means india has been working for that Indian Ocean region can be strengthened. All right, that means the Maldives also having some interest with India uh, for the regional cooperation of the uh, Indian Ocean region. And Maldives is as among the top marine time neighbor of India in the Indian Ocean region. And India has been seeing an expand ties with the island nation, including the areas of defense and uh, security amid China's emf- uh, effort to expand its influence in that region that means china is also expanding its influence in that region still india is able to have a good relationship in the indo-asian region along with the uh, maldives both countries are working closely to address the challenges in the including those on marine time security terrorism radicalization and conspiracy and uh, piracy uh, trafficking all right organ- organized crime and natural disaster in august last year prime minister modi and soli kick started the greater mate connectivity project that is a 500 million dollars project financed by india and that would comprise of 6.74 km bridge and that crossway link connecting capital mail with the neighboring islands all right now let's move forward and smart cities deadline pushed by a year that means the union housing and urban affairs ministry have extended deadline of its smart cities mission from june this year to june 2024 to enable all 100 smart cities to not only complete their project but also document and disseminate the learning from the mission the mission which had launched in 2015 selected 100 cities through a competitive process uh, from january 2016 to january 18 the cities were given 5 years for their selection dates to complete the project they had processed in 2021 the ministry de- decided to make the deadline uh, for all 10 100 cities till the june 2023 now uh, with 2 months to go 50 out of 100 cities have completed 75% of project and would be able to complete the remaining work by june under the mission of 66 of the cities are small with less than 1 million population and are implemented uh, two uh, third of the projects over 80% of projects in the city in the big cities have been completed while the completion com, uh, completion rate for smaller cities stands at 66% under the mission all 100 cities had to be set up integration command and control center that means they will be having an integration command and control center and a total cost of 11775 crore rupees a total of 526 project of smart mobile 
mobility 1 and 16 of smart energy 4 and 11 of water sanitation and hygiene 343 each of creating vibrant public in service and economic inflation structure 203 of social infrastructure of and 145 of small governance and still under the program process and in total 71000 crore has been released for the cities has been and rupees 38000 crore is for the center and remaining from the state that means urban local countries and across 90 percent of release funds have been utilized and the 8000 crore that had been budgeted for 2023 to 2024 would be enough to complete the projects in addition 233 projection under the public private uh, partnership worth rupees 15106 crores have been taken by the 153 cities and these projects included infrastructure like multi uh, multimodal transport hubs common mobility cards and the public bike sharing now india and uk war games that was indian army personnel including 7th edition of indian uk a military exercise ajaya warrior at the salisbury plain in the uk that means it's going to be happening in uk in salisbury plain and the biennial training exercise conducted conducted al alternatively in the uk and india that means it is having alternatively there they have been taking place and began on april 27th and will end on the may 11th all right that is ajaya warrior that means india and uk they are having uh, this kind of thing all right and now gapping with uh, artificial intelligence now uh, the group of seven has made an some regulation for the ch ch chat gpt for its national security and risk based regulation they have been working on it and uh, the india has said what is india stand in it india said that it is not considerable any law to regulate the artificial intelligence sector IT Minister Ashwini Vishnav has said that although AI had ethical concern and associated risk, it has proven to be an uh, uh, enable of digital and innovation ecosystem. That means India is not able, not India is not in uh, support of making a regulation act. All right, and uh, uh, the China has been a twenty point draft for generation of privacy and preventing discrimination. China is working on it. All right, what is the washroom blueprint protecting users from the unsafe and ineffective system? All right, protective user against the discounted allegation. So, uh, China has been also worked off and called to action. Tech leader Elon Musk, Apple co founder Steve Joggins, and over 15,000 have been a six month pause for AI development. They have made an AI development pause and saying the lab are in out of control race to develop system that none of can control, can fully control, and they should all said that lab including experts should work together to implement a such shared safety protocol and a repeated effort uh, had been made in the us to pass laws to limit the power of uh, big technology but they had made little headway given the political diversion all right and world bank launches the more robust business climate ranking the world bank on monday unveil the new methodology and improved safeguard for the assessing and business climate is up to 180 countries after the embarrassing revelation of data irregular and favoritism towards the china force it's to cancel its flagship ranking two years ago now the bank scraped its doing business ranking in september 2021 a pilot edition of the new replacement announced series called the business ready will be published in spring 2024 covering the initial group of 54 economies in Asia, Latin America, Europe, Middle East, and Sub-Saharan Africa. All right. Now, uh, let's uh, talk about India's export to UAE may reach to $50 billion by financial year of 27. Though UAE is having no interest in its, uh, in India's aeronautical business uh, market. All right. That means India's exporting to, uh, too much to UAE. Now, India's export an increased export to the United Arab Emirates UAE to 50 billion by 2016 sorry 50 billion dollars by 20, 2026 to 27 from 31.3 uh, billion in 2023 that means to, uh, currently we are having around 30 billion uh, 30 billion dollar uh, exports and it is expected that in the year of 2026 to 27 uh, 50 billion exports will be taking place in UAE from India side and as the first year of implementation of the India UAE trade pact is completed 
Barthel said India's uh, utilization of trade agreement with the UAE is the second highest among all free trade agreements. That means India has been exporting too much to the UAE and uh, recently they had done the India UAE uh, trade pact and uh, uh, after that pact the complete utilization was done by the India to provide the all kinds of uh, financial uh, business trades to the UAE and in February 2022 the nation the national uh, signed a trade pact which uh, came into force on May 1st that means they have just made a pact on the May 1st itself all right in February 2022 the two nations signed uh, in the february 2022 they have, the two nation have signed the pact of around uh, uh signed the pact of free trade agreement and in the may first 2022 it came to place and this year itself in the may they have, they have done around 30 billion exports all right and the first year of implementation the comprehensive economic uh, partnership agreement cpac cpa and 54144 certificates of origin were issued till march 2023 and next only 1.49 lakhs under the india asia fta that means india asean india's asean fta that means financial uh, free trade agreement between india and asean and uh, uh, around 1.49 lakhs under the india asean fta so it is a comprehensive economic partnership agreement all right sipa that is comprehensive economic partnership agreement which was done earlier and uh, with the uae and now it has been uh, working on the indo pacific fta and the 1.49 lakhs certificate has to be signed and we are hoping that we will be able to reach 50 billion in exports by 2060 to 2027 and in the five years of trade after sipa i feel that we should be able to reach to 50 billion in export all right and uh, uh, the joint working group meeting will be held in june to discuss a review of the trade date data under the sipa between the uh, india and the uae and uh, officials india export to uae is in 2023 was rose to around 11.8% of 31.3 billion or right, that is very less around uh, more around to uh, 3 to 5 billion uh, dollars all right in the 2023 but while the import is created by 18.8% to 53.2 billions that means they ha- there has been increase of 18.8 billion percentage that means uh, if india is exporting around 50 point uh, 50 billions of exportation is taking place recently uh, sorry uh, recently only 30 30 31 billion uh, export is taking place but uh, uh, in the future it will be 50 billion and uh, though the india is importing around uh, 53.2 uh, do- billion dollars and impo- there is this for certain importation of aircrafts spacecrafts and parts from uae surge 4859% year of year of 1.93 billion in 2022 now oil imports rose by 36% to 27.7 billion while non oil import rose 4.1% to 25.5 billion in a financial year of 23 that means oil imports has rose by 36% and which has cost around 27 billions all right and export of automobiles rose by 42% to 715.58 715.58 million during 2022 while electrical machinery shipment increased by 32% by 3.65 billion so if we talk about the indian export uh, india's export to uae so it will be reaching uh, presently it is 31 uh, billion dollars and it will reach to 50 billion dollars by end of financial year of 2027 and what are the key roles for the cooperation between the two countries though there is only one one year has been done in india uae uh, sipa that is cop- uh, comprehensive uh, partnership uh, sorry comprehensive economic partnership agreement uh, it was passed in it was done in february 2022 and it was came into existence in may first may first only and after one year there has been 31.1 billion exports in that region and india is uh, targeting to uh, done around to do around 50 billion of uh, dollar export to uae by financial 2027 and what are the major keys uh, major keys of uh, 
uh, area of concern that is india's export will be mainly uh, india imported lots of aircraft spacing crafts along with uh, uh, various uh, spacecrafts and uh, india has also exported lots of uh, around 30 to 40% of the total wealth of uh, oil and it is also big producer of petroleum goods india has also been uh, selling and export of automobiles rose to 42% all right and electricity machinery shipments including the increased 3.32% of the item that means automobiles they have been sending then electrical machinery they have been sell, uh, sending now india is also sending the uh, petroleum products all right petroleum goods and uh, india has been uh, uh, importing aircraft spacecrafts and parts from the uae all right and india is also looking forward for the india asian fta that means india and asian fta india has been looking for and uh, uh, okay okay that means india and uae will also be having good uh, good uh, export and import business if asia asia uh, india asian fta is going to take place so this was a full pdf uh, on the uh, 22nd of May 2023 and uh, I end my lecture now and 2 May 2023 have been covered so thank you very much Jai Hind